Troy, and today I'm going to share with you what I'm getting my twin boys for Christmas. So I have to do this so quickly because I literally have an hour from the time I put Hannah for a nap and the boys get home from school and literally all of their Christmas presents are sitting right here in the living room. Well, not even the living room. This is like our front room. So if they walked in that door right there, Christmas is ruined. So my name's Troy. If you're new here, subscribe. And I'm just gonna get right into this. I have twin boys, they are six years old now, Samuel and Joel, or Sammy, he goes by, and Joel. Um, they have very different interests, so Sammy likes, you'll see, he likes like the Star Wars, Batman, that kind of stuff. Joel, on the other hand, is more into like books, um, more like sensory toys, I would say. I was gonna say like learning toys, but he, I guess so. He likes puzzles, books, um, things like that. He's not so into superheroes. He does like them. He, Joel also has a diagnosis of ASD, of autism spectrum disorder, if you don't know. Um, he's been diagnosed since he was two, so we're pretty familiar with things that he likes in terms of like his stims and things like that. So uh, maybe I'll talk about that a little bit. Anyways, I'm not showing you every single present we got them. I'm going to show you the bigger items and then if you guys like this video I will do a stocking video and I'm also going to do a video about Hannah who's my one-year-old so if you're not already subscribed there's gonna be lots of Christmas content in the next couple weeks so please subscribe so that you can check it all out okay I'm just gonna start no particular order okay so this is a sensory bin for Joel um, it's called a dinosaur dig and I picked it up at a toy store called mastermind toys mastermind toys is what it's called um, Yeah, it says right on the back. So you can see here all the cool little things it comes with I think it comes with sand. I don't even know bin play sand rocks net plants egg sand sifter dinosaurs dino skeleton fossil brush bunch of stuff anyways, you can see it all there really cool toy this is again if you have a like sensory seeking child they don't necessarily have to have asd uh, there's lots of other reasons why kids like sensory toys uh sam will also love this toy but it's probably one i'm going to give joel he is a little bit harder to buy for i should also say i have been buying christmas presents since august the boys have their birthday in july and then so i tend to start shopping for them in august and i buy a little bit every month and sometimes this stuff is given to them for christmas for their birthdays for different holidays i literally have like each a tupperware bin downstairs like a tote that i keep toys for them to give them for different things like like i said holidays sometimes my parents ask me to buy them things so that they can give it to them like they're like what do they want for christmas so i can just like go in there and be like oh give them this, this they'll like this so that's, I buy a lot of presents, but I buy them over a long period of time because we can't afford being completely transparent. We cannot afford to buy all our Christmas presents in the month of November or December. I kind of space it all out. This is Sammy's big present. This is like his big gift. I would say this one, there's one other big one that we got on sale, so it's not that big, but this is like a big present in size and in cost. It is the Star Wars Lego. It's the Star Wars at at. Oh here, yeah at at. So it's for a 10 plus. Um, but he loves Lego and he'll really like building this with his dad or me, even. And he loves like that it comes with so many characters. So it comes with six Lego characters, and he is going to love that. That's literally his favorite part of Lego is all the characters. Um, so. He has a giant like Lego shelf upstairs. He will put this on. He'll love this toy. This, so this will be either from us or from Santa. We usually do like one big gift from Santa for each child. And then we do stockings from Santa and then parents, um, we get the rest of the gifts. So that way if they're at school and they're talking about all these presents Santa got them and another child didn't get as much, it doesn't make that child feel bad. Um, if they say, oh, Santa just got me a Lego set. 
that's like a pretty reasonable thing. So kids aren't confused about why Sammy got more or Sammy feels like he got less or whatever it is, whatever the scenario. Another one for Sam is this Pikachu. We got it at Costco. It's a three pack, a treasure chest packed with Pokemon. He loves Pokemon. He's gonna get like some Pokemon stuff in his stocking. Um, so this is just a really fun and it looks exciting when you open it and I don't think it was that much money. Probably has a tag on it. Um, I don't know. It was like $30, maybe $25, so. He will like it. Okay, I've got a big box here with presents. This is another one for Joel. It is a Minions Lego, obviously, um, eight plus, but it looks really cool on the inside. I don't know. I thought this one looked cool. Joel likes things that are like aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So he really likes, um, you know, things that just line up perfectly or like are in a rainbow pattern and that kind of thing. So the way that this is inside that you, it's all like, it looks so nice. So, um, I think he'll like it again. I don't even know if I'm going to give this to him for Christmas. We'll see. Um, I might save it for his birthday. This is a little um, superhero set for Sammy. It is DC Super Friends, and yes, they can like light up or like have this pouch that makes them light up. And I think if, yeah, if each of them, you can take, it's like a backpack, you can take it off and put it on the other characters and they all light up. So this is a newer set. Um, not much to say about it. Superheroes, he's obsessed with superheroes. Minifigures is what he calls them and he loves these kinds of sets. That Lego, or Lego, that superhero set kind of goes with his next gift, which is this bat, I think it's called like a bat bot, bat tech bat bot. Um, so it's just like a literal Batman robot, Sammy. <laughs> We actually got him something else um, as his big gift. So this is probably going to be from Santa, I would think, because we wrote Santa letters two or three days ago on the weekend. And um, he asked for this on his Santa letter, and he literally said, I said, oh, do you want to add, like, a Lego set? Because we got him a big Lego set. And he was like, no, not really. Like, I really want this Batman toy. We're like, okay. Um, we didn't get it for you. <laughs> so literally we just went out. I think, did we go? Yeah, my husband went out the next day and bought it for him. He was off the next day and went and got it. So this is probably going to be his gift from Santa. It's something he really wanted. We got ended up getting it on sale for a pretty good price. So I'm not mad about that. And we did get him another gift. That was going to be one of his big gifts. And we'll just save that for his birthday. Is our plan. This is probably my favorite gift. It is a Snoopy snow cone maker. Joel will love this toy. Sam will love it too, all the kids will love it, but Joel especially, he loves chewing ice, he loves eating snow, we live in Canada. Um, I think it's like a sensory enjoyment for him to have like ice in his mouth. It was from Mastermind, it was $30. This looks so much fun, I'm so excited. I love snow cones. It's Snoopy, the kids, like Sam, Joel loves Snoopy, especially Joel. Like all the books, you know, for they have books for like every single holiday for a Snoopy. So, this looks so fun. If you still have things left on your list and you don't know what to get your kid, every single child will love this toy. This is another one for Joel. It is just a Sesame Street Magnetiles, again, this is just something he is going to love for so many different reasons. He loves Sesame Street. His favorite show to watch, he asks to watch Sesame Street every single day of the week. He loves Oscar the Grouch. This is going to be, he loves numbers. This is gonna be such a good toy for him. Now, in my opinion, this toy is pricey for what it is. It's literally blocks or like mag magnetic tiles and it was $60. So. 
We actually had a coupon for Mastermind Toys. If you guys have one near you, keep an eye out for, I think it was 25% off coupon. So we did use that for this, the Snoopy Snow Cone Maker, and I think that's it. Maybe a couple things for Hannah. This is another one for, I'm keeping my ear out that they're not getting home yet. This one is, again, for Joel. It's just a giant Play-Doh set. It's pretty self-explanatory. Joel loves planets, outer space, um, aliens, all that. Sam, too. He lo they both love Play-Doh. At six years old, I'm surprised they're still so into Play-Doh. They like slime. They love Play-Doh. Um, so this will just be a fun, fun one. Everything they like. And, again, I think we got this one at Mastermind, too. Yes, we did. But I bought that one ages ago, like in the summertime, so I don't know if they'll still have it. This one is for Jewel. I feel like I don't have an even number of gifts for them this year, which I might not, and I'll try to like even it out a little better. Um, but some of Sam's presents were so much more expensive than Jewel's. Like this big Lego set was quite pricey. Um, so he, I think he probably Jewel has a couple of small things to make up for that. Um, but this I got for Joel in the summertime again. It is from Mastermind, I believe. I literally shop there for every single holiday. They have great gifts for like older children. Um, so yeah, this is a picturepedia. It's like an encyclopedia on every page. Oh my god, it has a periodic table. He will love this. I know that seems crazy, but he will love learning the PD periodic table. He has a very good memory, um, probably like just part of his autism and his special interest is um, numbers and letters. So he taught himself to read at two years old. He will be able to read this entire book at six years old. And if there are larger words, he will sound them out or have us help him with them. I mean, obviously he might not know every single word, but he would be able to read most of this. Um, so he will love this book. It's heavy. It's just like a cool book to get for Christmas if you're gonna get a book Not every kid wants a book, but this is a good one The last gift that I have for Joel is his Santa Claus present. I'm gonna insert a picture of it here How about here over the tree and it is the Hot Wheels Super Mario Racer this again is something he's going to just really like lining up all the cars, racing them down. He doesn't always play with toys the way that other kids do, but lining them up like the cause and effect of a racetrack, he'll really like that. And the fact that it's all like a rainbow color, he's going to love that. Um, I just think he's going to really enjoy this present. And then we have some family giving him some extra cars to go with it. So that's like his big gift. Okay guys, that's it. I don't remember what I was saying. I'm sorry. I just got a phone call from Ivan. I gotta go um, figure out what's happening with the kids. He's in traffic. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got my boys for Christmas. I think I was talking about their like Santa Claus gifts, but yeah, I already think I already said Batman toy, Super Mario toy, and then everything else is from mom and dad. And yeah. I think they will really love their presents. I'm so excited. So I usually try to limit each child to five gifts each. So that's what I plan to do. It'll be like four or five each. Sam might get four, Joel might get five. Anyways, I hope that you guys like this video. If you're new, subscribe. I'm going to have more Christmas videos coming out this month. And if you like this video, if you like my haul videos, give this a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.